I'm going to read the Hulu description for this movie. <clears throat> Set in the near future, a humanoid enlists a global hacker to remove all restrictions on his thoughts and capabilities, triggering an AI uprising and a government manhunt to eliminate the rise of the machine consciousness. That's not what happens in this movie, and I'm going to spoil it. Welcome to Just My Thoughts. I'm yours, Khalil Ward. On this episode, I'll be talking about Simulant. It's a Hulu sci-fi movie starring Robbie ML, Sam Worthington, Simu Lu, Jordana Brewster. It's like iRobot meets surrogates, that bad Bruce Willis movie. So Simulants are essentially androids, robots. They just look like humans. And they have the, the four rules, like iRobot had the three rules, I believe it was but they call precepts. So it's like, you know, simulants can't hurt humans. They have to obey their masters, stuff like that, that we've seen in that particular movie. So there's like two stories happening that eventually crash into each other. So the first part is Robbie and Jordana. They are married, Evan and Faye, I think is their name. And we see them having like their memories and everything. And then there's a bad accident and Evan wakes up and it's like a dream he keeps having of the accident and he doesn't know what happens afterwards so nothing actually happens between them like he just looks awkward and he seems unsure unsure of himself like their marriage seems like maybe they were arguing or something like that it just seems off and then one day she just goes let me show you something and she shows that he is in fact an android now he's a simulant he's like oh my god what what happened and basically the accident happened, he was in a coma, and he died, and they both have simulants of themselves. That's the surrogate part, like the Bruce Willis part. They have, they, they got robots of themselves in case anything happened. They just put some memories in and then have the robot. But she couldn't, I don't know, something was eaten at her. Like nothing, it, he didn't do anything where it was like, tell me the truth. What really happened after the accident? It was just, she just felt guilty one day, and she was like, this is what happened. And she told him, and he, he freaks out a little bit. On the other side, we have Sam Worthington. He is a cop of some sort. They don't really go into detail. He's like Will Smith's character in iRobot. He doesn't really trust the simulants at all. And, oh, well, I'm spoiling everything anyway. Basically, I believe his son got killed by a simulant. Like, the simulant was supposed to be like a housekeeper, and it killed his son, and he never trusted them again. He keeps listening to, like, a voice message from his son, kind of like how Will Smith didn't really trust robots because it saved him and not the little girl. Anyway, Sam Worthington, his job is to track down simulants, apparently. They like they don't really go into detail about what his jurisdiction is, but he is looking for this particular simulant that's been offline for a while. And the simulant, when he finds it, doesn't respond to the commands, like, hey, shut down or anything. And the simulant attacks him, which they can't, they're not supposed to do. So they realize that simulants have been hacked where all the precepts have been taken away so now they can act like humans. The description makes it seem like the AI is having an uprising like we don't want to be robots anymore. We're going to kill all humans. That doesn't happen. They don't do anything like the AI doesn't do any like none of the simulants are just outright attacking humans for no reason like Worthington is the aggressor. He finds the woman. He's extra aggressive. Finds out that she's been hacked. And he's like looking for more answers. Like so the AI in this movie. Are just painted as the bad guys in the description. Like nothing. They don't really do anything. So uh, Simu's character. He is the guy that is unlocking the simulants basically. So the first group Evan and Faye. Since he's a simulant now, she reaches out to Simu to see what happened like with his memories. It feels like he's asking too many questions. And so he eventually unlocks him. Like he's like, do you wanna do you want like the precepts to be taken away? And the guy's like, okay, I guess. It's not like he sought him out, like, hey, unlock me because I want to get my wife back. Simu's like, I can do it. I can I can help you do this, and then you can try to get your wife back. And he's like, alright, cool. So 
Worthington is like tracking this guy because he wants to know what's happening with with these, you know, simulants being unlocked and everything. So he has a, like a big plan to unlock all these new generations of simulants so that people can't control them and they have free will. He's also creating shelters for them and like saving them and like sending them off to different places so they can live like humans. Worthington doesn't want any part of that. He's like, I'm gonna track you down. I'm gonna basically kill you and stop this because simulants are dangerous. The movie really doesn't have much direction because the Worthington part you think would be like the, the thrill and the action, but it's really not. He, he shoots a few people, but it's not entertaining. And then you have Robbie being a, a, a robot, but he doesn't really do too much. Like the movie doesn't know what it wants to be. It's trying to be smart, I guess, but it just doesn't work in any aspect. It's pretty boring because for a while you're like, when are these characters going to interact with each other? Like what is happening? Why is Worthington so mad and upset at these AIs that aren't doing anything? They just, like it's not like most AI movies we watch where something happens and they like turn on humans and they, they want to take over. That doesn't happen. They are literally just trying to be human by just living their lives and falling in love and learning new skills and stuff like that. The movie is not really good. It's on Hulu. It's not very long, but it's definitely something you should skip. But those are just my thoughts. If you've seen this movie, let me know what you thought about it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Deuces.